little bit of a recap on um, what had happened in the last one um two videos so in from chapter one and two chapter four um or hold on one yeah this is chapter four. so of course the so marissa's friend um had this thing where it can talk to the dead so one of the ghosts appeared um, and needed Marissa's help. Um, he was the father of the clan uh, in Co Banks, no, from Bank Corp Cor Incorporated. Um, and if she doesn't help him, she would be haunted for the rest of her life. So she went to Ireland, Dublin, Ireland, staying with one of her friend's friend that lives, no, her friend cousin um, that lives in Dublin, Ireland. And we have to be there somewhere in Ireland. Yeah, okay, that's pretty much the recap so far. Um, go watch those videos before you watch this one to get more of an understanding um, it's been like almost 12 hours since I made the those videos, but um, it's morning now, so it's like almost I said. So I guess we will start getting to it. Well, here's here's home. Not very grand, but it gets the job done. I think it's charming. All these books and maps and records. My foster parents were the bookish kind, as you can see. What about your real parents? Never met them, so wouldn't know. They abandoned me when I was young. I'm so sorry. Don't be its 20 year old water under the bridge. Don't you miss them? Not really. How can I miss something that I never knew existed? What I really want you to pay attention to is over here. Ahobinian takes a very large and very old book down from one of the shelves. Wow, that is a big book. <laughs> it's a list of the most culturalists. Significant places in the country. You mean if Endon Dune is in this book, then he can't tear it down? Well, it's a little more complicated than that. For starters, Ensign Dune Castle isn't in this book, but Ensign Dune the village is. Wait. But what does being in the book even signify and mean? What's the use? If you're in the book, it means you're a national landmark. Basically, the government protects you. But why would the village be protected and not the castle? Simple answer. The castle in our village is stacked with a bunch of rich dead people. And to be blunt, nobody cares about a bunch of coffins, nothing culturality, symphony about it. Understandable. So what's the plan then? All I need to do is prove that the castle has something which the government might dream culturally valuable. Once I'm able to do that, castle will be declared a land a national landmark. Sounds simple. Easier said than done, eh? He's got good lawyers who'd probably swing the argument in his direction pretty fast. Sorry, Marissa, looks like you still got a job to do. Well, I might have been shut down once, but I'm not 
the wedding type. Hey, that's so me. <laughs> that's the spirit. Speaking of not quitting, you guys feel like getting back to the dot in Phoenix? Sir. I'm game, but er, uh, choo! Oh dear, I think your clothes are still damp from the rain before. Better change and do something warm before you catch your cold. I have a few nice things that might fit to you. Oh boy, let's see. Yeah, like that. Nice! Comfy clothes for a dark and stormy night. You get back to the pub and find the reverie in full swing. Woohoo! The credit is 90. Wow, this place is packed. We are a small village, but we can get a lot of people. Chat around if you want. You might find someone interesting. Might as well. You walk through the spacious tavern, enjoying the vi vintage feel and the warm smell of the peat burning fireplace. Okay, interesting. You wander into a snug back room that contains candlelit tables. This is kind of cool. Looks like something you'll find on a quest. Well now, my darling, what brings you here? Oh, hi. I was just walking around a bit. Would you care to have your fortune revealed? You're a fortune teller? Would I have offered if I wasn't? You sit down at the table. From seemingly thin air, the old crone brandishes a pack of tarot cards and shuffles them expertly. Ooh. Uh-oh. Feeling nervous? The last time I tried messing with the er, I thought it didn't turn out so well. One must be very careful when consulting the oracles of spirits. I couldn't agree more. Well now, that's a C. That's a C. Very interesting indeed. The wheel of fortune spins and the rich becomes poor. The village girl a queen. And the queen a uh, pauper? Um, sir? Beware of the wheel of fortune, my dear. One can never prepare for the changes the wheel will do as it pleases. Good to know. <sighs> ah, the world card. Perhaps your fortune will thrive. And from a chance encounter, you will gain lots. Now that doesn't sound too bad. Perhaps it will be the opposite. Maybe chance encounter with a... Melville Terror Spirit could cause you to lose everything. Oh no. My goodness. What? Important relationship lies in your future, my dear. Perhaps they will cause you to reap the riches of the world. Right. Ooh. Not again. A virgin pre presence. Shoo, shoo, get out of air. The old crone grabs a broom and begins to sweep the air. Hey, stop that. Hey. The ghost disappears in a cloud of blue smoke. Beware, my darling. You have obstacles, but be dedicated and you will come through. Um, sure, okay, thank you for that. <sighs> oh my word. A little bewildered, you walk back to your table and find Kathleen. 
Hey, Marissa, I think the bartender for bartender's free. If you want to go and chat. What do you mean? Nothing, honey bunch. Only that it looks like you two were getting a little sweet on each other earlier. We were just talking. If that's what you want to call it, go on ahead. You can't hide anything from me, love. Er, you're such a... Before you can find the words, Cillian comes over to your table. Please don't stop on my account. You were saying? She was just saying how much she likes you. You're speeding reliable service. You glare in Kathleen's direction. She smiles cheekily at you and leaves the table to join Albanian. Bless my eyes. My fortune must shine. Bright to see you again tonight. I was just about to say the same thing. Your lodge lingers yonder tonight for some reason. But I don't put that much stock in luck. I prefer skill. Are you always this argument? Or is it just when you're around pretty girls? No, to you both, love. It's only around the most beautiful of girls. You are blush. You are blushing too hard to think of anything witty to say. Anyway, I'm just about to finish up in here. Want to go outside so I can hear you a little better? Well, all right. Oh boy. Side of Darden Phoenix. You head outside where it's clear and less crowded. Looking overhead, you can't help but admire the stars. You've probably heard about what's happening <sighs> with the castle. That's actually why I'm here. And my I asked why you're become interested in our little slice of heaven? You can ask whatever you want, but that doesn't mean I'm going to tell you. Do I detect a classic case of hard to get? I don't know, do you? Well, how about we make a trade then? A case for every answer, ready? Ready when you are, Captain. Sounds like an answer to me. Zillian leans over and kisses you gently on the cheek. Immediately your face goes warm from his lips. Haha, <laughs> sorry about the ambush. Love, I'll take it slow from now on. Actually, there's a get together happening at the village as a show of support for the castle. We also want to let D Clan Banks know how unwelcome his construction crew are here. I love for you to join. Sounds like a good idea. Grand in two days, five o'clock right here. Silly and shoot squeezes your hand. Before you can react, you hear a voice calling. Hey, Marissa, time for home. There's plenty of time to flirt later. <laughs> I see you then. You race over to Kathleen's car. Ooh. That was chapter five. So now we will head to chapter six. Oh, you didn't see that? I didn't even know. I thought I paused it, but sorry, guys. You get to the park and wander around until you find the clan. 
Long time no see. Marissa, who told you I was here? Does it matter? Can't I walk here as well? It's a free park. Do you want to walk? Walk? So have you thought at all about what I said before? I've already made my decision, Marissa, and nobody's changing it. You're awfully persistent, though. To your surprise, the clan puts his other hand over yours. You can feel him trembling. It's okay, it's okay, D clan. You can let it out if you need to. D clan looks deeply into your eyes and you can see the pain behind them. If only I knew what hap what had happened. That would change everything. You pull him in to a hug and feel his powerful arms around you. You can feel his heartbeat racing. I'm sorry about that. No, don't be. Every time I think of her, I just want to destroy the darn place. Ooh, I don't 
I know it must hurt. It does. The memories are always there. You can't change the past, Ethan. Right now, you're just making everything worse by destroying the castle. I admit it, some of what you said does make sense, but... Why don't you expect it before the work starts? It may even change your mind. I suppose it wouldn't be a bad idea to see it before construction, pragmatically speaking. Although there would be a condition to my going. Anything I could do to help out? Yes, as a matter of fact, why don't you come and show me around tomorrow? I wouldn't mind spending a bit more time getting to know you. Declan squeezes your hand. Again, it makes you feel assured, secure, safe. Well, I have to see. Do consider it. Before you say another word, Declan plants a kiss on your cheek and walks out the park. Who would you like to spend the evening with? So, of course, I can spend time, of course, with Cillian, but if I do that, it might not make Declan change his mind. But if I spend time to Declan, I have a better chance. So I would do, of course, Declan, right? Looks like that's it for this. Okay. Um, this chapter was five and six. Next episode, we would do seven and eight, then nine and ten, eleven and twelve. Um, and I think there's fourteen, if I'm not mistaken. So we're getting there. Um, we're doing two chapters a time right now. And just let me know if you guys are actually liking this series. And I would do, I will find more books on this little app. Okay? Um, let me know if you guys liked this or not. Okay? And I guess that would be it for the video. If you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe. Don't forget to like. Feel free to make this. Don't forget to share. Excuse me. Share this video. And I guess I will see you guys on next time. Goodbye.